time favorite and i request uh, ms nutan korgaonkar audiologist uh, private practitioner to introduce uh, dr kalyani marke nutan over to you yes can you hear me we can yes thanks it's my tremendous honor to introduce our guest of speaker for today's topic on creating families as safe zones for cwsn we are privileged to have noted educationist a reformist for today's topic my speaker needs no introduction she holds a clinical doctorate in audiology and holds a certificate of clinical competence by american speech language hearing association she is the first indian resident to receive clinical doctorate in audiology with appreciation award by indian speech and hearing association maharashtra branch a uh, one minute and utan sorry uh, saraswati and shubhangi please turn off your audio disturbing others request shubhangi as well to turn off the audio yeah, sorry utan go ahead should i start again no no you could continue yeah she holds a phd from school of basic medical sciences university of pune it was a defining experience when she started her work as an audiologist in pune starting career from scratch and putting immense efforts to create awareness about our field was a big challenge but through this great journey she is now a woman who holds name in guinness world record event of fitting 4840 hearing aids in 8 hours in 2018 a woman with a certificate of recognition for outstanding contribution in international achievement of the american speech language hearing association with a business management and soft skills she received a runner up award organized by sakar paper and midcon november 2015 by maharashtra women entrepreneur award and gs nutan you have gone on mute hello yes you are audible now with the business management and soft skills she received a runner up award organized by sakar papers and midcon november 2015 by maharashtra women entrepreneur award and gs as asha diversity champion award by usa in 2009 given to professionals who have made significant contribution to advance multicultural inclusion in speech and hearing profession with an inne social service in the services sector she was honored as a jinda dil award instituted by rangat sangat pratishthan pune with a 35 years of rich clinical experience in diagnostic testing and hearing aid fitting cochlear implant management she is appointed as a member council for clinical competence by american speech and hearing association usa she has been a president of cochlear implant group of india and indian speech and hearing association please welcome dr kalyani manke thank you for so much elaborate <laughs> introduction and <clears throat> can i just share my screen first and then i'll make a opening with that be okay yes please yeah mm -hmm. i'll just take one second before uh, sure. till you start sure. uh, sharing your screen sure. participants sure. please note attendance link will be put up now in the chat box please note attendance link in the chat box ma'am you can share your screen please click on the attendance link given in the chat box right now as she sets up the stage yeah we can see your screen now okay uh, hello hello may i start yes hello? please all are requested to mute yourself please mute yourself 
Shashikant Solanke is raising his hand. Yeah, unmute yourself quickly and ask your question. Or oh, put your question in chat box, please, because we are starting the session now. Yeah, over to you, Manke, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Asmita and the entire team of Shwarwani College. Uh, I have a lot of appreciation for your team because you always think differently. You make things happen differently and such, you know, detail, meticulous work. <clears throat> Last one hour, I have been observing you, how systematic and organized it all happening. Of course, it's, it all matters to the leadership, but the followers are also equally important. So three cheers for the entire team. Thank you so much for shaping up a different topic. You know, that's another way to look at it. Yes, there are social issues which bother a lot to us and we don't bring them into our mainstream CRE program. So this is another one plus point to, you know, A plus to Dr. Asmita thinking differently. Now, when you ask me about this topic for a minute, I say, I have no competency. I have no knowledge about this. I have done some reading. But then again, I thought, why not? And let's take a challenge. And so that's how I started reading a lot on this. And uh, so here is my presentation, rather first attempt in an unexplored area. So, uh, you know, I have crossed my finger because you have shown your expectations. Now I have to perform that way. Anyway, let's begin. This is the common story. Every day we see, uh, we read, we hear, we see on the uh, uh, daily hunt. Just now also I saw on daily hunt, one father beat this uh, four-year-old just because not doing the homework and this little baby died. So what is this going on? What are we doing to our children? It's not only the external factor within the families also, things have become so unsafe. And this is something is really, it's a concern for everyone. And one way to look at it, we have to make our children strong. We have to make our children more proactive. We have to make them to say no to things. You know, there is one statement we all have applauded long time ago was in the movie Pink when Amitabh Bachchan said no means no. And it's true even today, even four year or two year can say no and somebody has to listen to it. That's very important. So this is all about child's right. And this is not only related to India at all. It is a worldwide movement. And I always like to flip back and see what's happening in the history part as such. And I, when I read all about this declaration of the child rights and all, it started in 1959, United Nations General Assembly adopted the declaration of the rights of the child, which defines rights to protection, education, health care, shelter, good nutrition. So many things are there. And then, of course, then the United Nations took this whole thing a little forward and made the convention. But that best part was the convention took place in 1989. And that's kind of a guidelines of the proposal given to all the member countries to follow on those lines. Interestingly, this is the only convention which is ratified by all the members of the United Nations, you know. So 196 countries have ratified this convention. So everybody in principle has agreed, yes, we need to protect our children. We have to see they get their rights and that's very important. But just, just to agree for the rights and to adopt to it and to practice it, there is a C difference in it. So only thing is the convention changed the way children are viewed and treated. We decided, yes, we will give them the respect as individual and not as a property, some family or somebody or something. And they have, they, they are no more, you know, they can be part of the decision-making also. We need to listen to them what they want, what they aspire, and we have to shape their future to become the responsible citizen of any given country. So this, you know, the commitment for the child rights is very important. And of course, India is no exception for that. But when we're talking about child, you know, it's very unfortunate in our profession, speech and hearing and deaf education, disability sector, we keep calling everybody bachu. You know, we just think about everybody is three and five years old only. 
No, but the definition of child is child is any person under the age of 18 years. So zero to 18, it's a big spectrum. Think about it, you know, the needs, wants, demands are different. What three years, uh, you know, we are looking at, it will not be the same as for an eight-year-old. And teenager may expect something else. An 18-year-old who is just stepping into the you know, adulthood will see the world differently. So we have to think about, you know, every segment of this uh, spectrum of zero to 18. And that's another thing is, where they live, what language they speak, what their religion is, what they think they look like, it's immaterial. We need to respect them. We don't want to make that, you know, copycat or the uh, product from the um, industry as such same kind of thing, no, identical things as individuality needs to be respected. The way they, they think, they aspire, they dress, they eat, everything needs to be respected and no child should be treated unfairly for any reason. Now you just do little reflection, knowingly or unknowingly, we have differentiated children. We have differentiated many things. We, in our childhood also, we have experienced that we have differentiated people differently. Now my father had a transferable job, so my education was in different places as such, like from Vidarbha, Maratwada, from there, I came to Pune, Pune to Mumbai, then went to England and then to USA. I have experienced discrimination at every point. Why is it so? Because we have created our norms and we want people should be alike that. And we, we call ourselves, it's a um, multicultural, multi-diversity and all that. But within us, do we really acknowledge that multi-diversity is something very honestly we have to answer this question. Now for that purpose, you know, that message needs to be given over and over and over again. Naturally, the, for advocacy purpose, certain days are decided as such. We have the International Day for Disability uh, or Braille uh, for acknowledging uh, visually impaired and all for autism for one month is celebrated. Same way, globally, Children's Day is also is established, and that is 20th November. And why this particular date? There is always has to be some reason for it. It's not just some random number. So the World Children's Day was established in 1954 because that was something first time it was thought about that we need to do something for this children. Now, 20th November was an important date because in 1959, the, the UN General Assembly adopted the declaration. And 20th November again became the important day because in 1989, when the <clears throat> Convention on the Rights of the Child took place. So that's why 20th November became the Children's Day worldwide. But there is a little difference in Indian context. For us, Indian context, the Children's Day is celebrated on 15, 14th of November. And that is just because after the death of Jawaharlal Nehru in 1964, government of India decided to shift it from 20th November to 14th, that's fair. But the late, the reason for that, that, uh, excuse me, just one minute, I can't see my slide, yeah. Uh, the children of today will make the India of tomorrow. And the way we bring them up will determine the future of the country. That was said then by uh, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, and even it's today. We, the way we shape up our children will define their future as well as our future. This is something is very important to remember. And that's why these children they are, are celebrated. So now the day our advocacy part is done. Naturally, now we have to think about what is the government policy for it. And naturally, the government of India had to work on the national child protection policy because there is um, ignorance, violence, exploitation, deprivation, discrimination, so many things are there, you know. So the protection means what and how it needs to be defined. If you take the different layers for every, like, you know, for um, safety for uh, against violence, there will be a 10 pages document. For exploitation, there will be another thing. So different acts need to be formed. And this is something is a major work for government of India because India is a young population country. The population, children population is almost nearly 40%, 39.2 or something as of on census 2011. 
So we are really concerned about 40% of the population, the safety, security, uh, the recognition, they belong to this country. This is really important. And that's why various acts are done. When I looked into it, various acts for children's protection, there are altogether seven acts are there. The first one is sort of discussed, talked a lot, but unfortunately still going on for years together is the preconception and prenatal diagnostic technique, PCP and DT. Uh, you must have heard about a lot of stories in Marathwada oh, in those time, but the uh, agriculture sector, those women where you know, their abortions uh, history. Actually, one of the women organization identified why the highest number of abortions are happening in Marathwada. And that's how this whole story came out. And then that became an act as such because female feticide is common. Even it's on today. By the way, if you have not seen Y movie, please do see it. Recognize the women right as such. I just want to give you know another one incidence quote here about it. Uh, Member of Parliament Supriya Sure is very sensitive about this issue, girl child education, girl child health, and all. And I had worked with her with some in 2006 and seven. says, you know, I have to really work for these two little girls about this protection of child from sexual offense. It's, it's very sad and pathetic condition, and we need to do a lot of things for it. So, but understanding of all these acts is equally important, juvenile act, child labor. So altogether, there are seven acts are there, uh, there, you know, but does that mean that these seven acts are protecting our children? No because the acts are on the paper, it's in legislation, but what happens is the reality is different. Now, what we intervene all those things, we really need to see it on. I'm taking you on a different line now, this Malala Yusuf Zafazi, you must have heard about her, read somewhere and all. Uh, <clears throat> she was born in 97 and in 2009, means then at that time she was what, 12 years old at that time, she wrote about uh, one blog about rights of girl child education. This is a, happened in Pakistan. Her father is a teacher who was encouraging uh, girl child education. And on that line, she had written all this blog. And what we know is, you know, there was an assassination attempt. Unfortunately, she lost one hearing and one left side. Now she's a cochlear implant user as for that year as such. But what I feel, you know, 12 year old rise tall and says, this is our right matters more. And she is the youngest person to receive Nobel Peace Prize along with Kaila Satyarthi. So yes, voice can be heard. You need to be strong within. So that is something is the best example is Malala. There's another girl, Greta Thunberg. She is again at the age of 15. She read all about you know, climate change, global warming and all. And what did she do? She just stood in front of the parliament, Swedish parliament with this poster that you, know, you have to meet the carbon emission target. She did not give speech. She did not talk to anyone and all. And this was the only message. You, with her clothing, you can see that was a winter time, the way she's sitting there and all that but she made the moment. She attracted international attention and 10 million people onto the street worldwide it demanded this whole change. And since then climate change has become a global moment. So see these two girls, just 12 and 13 year old can shake up the world. So when, because they had the courage, 
that we taught them to be strong. And that's how something is very important thing, you know, shaking. So it's not always we change the world. Children can do it, but unless they're empowered, they do it all that on their own, <clears throat> they will not see the world. So what is the message with all that? Children have the right to give their opinion freely on issues that affect them. Adults should listen and take children seriously. These are the common phrases used every now and then. No, children do think differently. They, they see the world differently and we have to be very sensitive for it. So children have the right to use their language, culture, religion, and even if it is not shared by many people, that's okay. But pay attention to that, what it means to them. So now we have understood all this, you know, we have to work for children and children should be doing it. But where to start? Where do we make the beginning? Of course, we have to empower the parents to shape their young ones. Those are going to be the future of India. And fortunately, we are the facilitator, we are the connection between parent and child. So why can't we use this opportunity to make them understand what parents can do? And this is for very meaningful for children with special needs because last 25 years, <clears throat> You have seen that the acts are there, uh, PWD Act 95, National Trust Act 99, and um, now uh, Rights of Person with Disability Act 16 and all. But do these children get the justice? No. It's simple thing that just accommodation in regular schools, why regular school, even in special schools are also not provided. This is bahut kuch nahi hai na, itna sa to hai. But, people are insensitive and they have to really sort of given the message, yes, <coughs> these children have right for the education and we need to give the reasonable accommodation to them. Excuse me. So how we are going to motivate people, uh, parents for it? Because you know, that's one common thing is always parents say, Hum kya kare hai? Hame kya malum? we don't know how to start, where to start and all that. And we have to keep talking to parents. Yes, you will make the difference. You have to then. I always tell parents, you know, whatever you say, I agree with you. You just paint down on the paper. Then I will edit it. I'm not going to draft the letter for you. You write it down, your feelings. Then what next to be done? I will do it. But unfortunately, people don't do that courage. And that just that there is a fear of unknown. The pressure in the families, pressure in the school system, <clears throat> societal pressures and all we have to sort of come out of all these things <clears throat> that yes you can do the difference because you are giving a head start in your life your children's life you nurture protect guide your children so you have to prepare them for independence <clears throat> and there are many things parents can do it's not only speech and light language it's not only academics there is seeing the world differently matters more Excuse me. The facilitators, as we can empower the children, you know, different ways we can do it, informal talk, group talk, uh, WhatsApp chat, and all other things. It's giving message about positive parenting, safety, health, and that is at the each stage of the life. What I had said earlier, like, you know, what you can do at the age of three will not be same for eight year old and will not be same for the te teens. So we have to think about, you know, what can be done. So I'm just giving you some glimpses about, you know, what, what is the thought process should be for different age groups as such. Now, three to five years old now, like starting expanding their whole and looking around, looking with the extended families, what's happening in the family, what is with the um, senior citizen, elderly, aunt, uncle, grandparents, or what is the neighborhood, you know, they're doing on that. So they are becoming more independent and focusing on adults outside the family. Next, next to parents, they're interacting with different people. They're perceiving them, they are learning from them. 
And these children do have a lot of questions and those WH question and especially why needs to be said over and over and over again. Bas ho gaya, kitna ho isne. Because that curiosity matters and that time we can give different messages to these children. That is very important. So that is something, you know, the, the way they see the personalities, uncle, aunts, and uh, uh, grandparents and neighbors. And actually, if you really think about the real considering the stressors around us, many times these family members have become the threat to these children also. So this is something we have to really teach them how to differentiate. And unless they interact with these different adults, how will they get the good uh, feeling about, or you know, the uh, trust among those people as such. Unfortunately, in our context, children with special needs, parents are overprotective. Oh, I can do only thing, I will look after. So parents are not allowing them to interact with other children, adults. So children don't have first hand experience with these adults and naturally they don't learn themselves, you know, uh, how to disseminate that information. They find it very difficult because they are just what mothers allow to do, them to do. They are done and they are allowed, they practice that. And naturally there are the conflicts. So that's why we have to tell these parents, you know, let them become independent, let them like, let them interact with these adults. That's how they will learn good and bad. You know, this is not something we decide good and bad. And later on, of course, we will be discussing, but unless a child gets an experience, how can we create the norms? And we, most important of all, you know, during all this interaction, child safety first, one cannot just ignore that factor at all. Let it be the traffic, let it be just, you know, following the stray objects, what's going on. Now in the rainy season, we just hear all the accidents and I always feel, how come we are not taught these children not to touch the power point plugs, not to play with the electricity wire, not to go to the uh, elevators duct or something. And most of the accidents are revolving around this. Now, how come we fail to give this education? So we have to tell these children, you know, safety first as such. Playing in the water, going for swimming, and especially this in rains, which is because we don't send our children for formal swimming lessons as such. And then just start with, you know, uh, rainy season as such. And we again hear all wrong things happening, the accidents, misbehavior, and a lot, lot, lot of other things as such. So we have to be, teach children about be safe in the water and make these instruction lines, you know, certain thing, do list, not do list to your, you know, potential families whom you are interacting. Just this monsoon, follow these norms. This monsoon, you take care of your children in following this way, because that's how it starts, you know, one step at a time. So, and teach your child how to be safe around strangers. That is very important. How are we going to explain to them? Probably we have to make some role play, some instructions, some language, some flashcards. I don't know, too many things are on my mind coming up as such. But these kind of activities can be done with the parents and tell them, you know, how to be safe. You know, that is something. For three to five years in that age group itself, start talking about good touch and bad touch in a subtle way. May not be something, you know, the concrete way we will talk about 10 years and above. But this is something is very important. But again, I just focus on that. The real problem with children with special needs is overprotection pampering. So this, these two things we really have to uh, explain to the mother or parents as such or caregiver that no, you're protecting, you're, you're giving the safe zone, explaining him it's right, but let your child be independent also. Let him explore his own world. And again and again, I'm saying is the safety first because your child should be free from physical, sexual, and emotional abuse. We may have to elaborate these different ways. Like, <clears throat> it's not only the family members, the caretaker also, we need to know about, you know, uh, now daycare center or nanny who's looking after, we should be knowing their whereabouts, who, you know, their details as such. Rakhwaldar, elevator person, you know, lift person and all these, you see them every day does not mean they're good people. 
you, acquaintance is different and behavior is different. So this is something, and that's what we have to explain these children over and over again as such, and correct these potential dangers as such. So remember, safety precaution for places and individual that matters more. It's not only the place, but the, for the individual. So safety first for three to five, start developing some activities, probably next two, three months, you know, uh, in a classroom situation, in clinical setup, in therapy sessions, in a parent support group, you know, you can talk a lot on these lines as such. Just not to make them aware about the danger, but just it's important to be safe, you know, that is something is important. Now, older age group, six to eight years, now they are becoming more independent. They will give them, mommy, stop, I can do it. Mommy, you don't tell me. This is very common. Whether it's verbal, non-verbal, children do express that I'm not big. I can handle it. I can do it myself because they have started <coughs> thinking about their future. Sorry. <clears throat> And their place around in, you know, they want to understand who am I? What is my family is like? What is the place in my parent and me in our family, in our neighborhood? So they are trying to understand their place in that world. And it needs to be described and discussed about it also. Yes, you are an important person, but that so-and-so is also important. And you are the, you know, means, you and your brother, these are only two ch children in your house versus there are four in the neighborhood. So uh, your neighboring family has that. So everybody's place or role are different. That needs to be talked about. Children pay more attention to friendship and teamwork. Encourage that, let them play with other children because give and take also tells, tells them, you know, how to be independent as such. And they, they do show a lot of mental, development of mental skills, you know, verbal and non-verbal. Again, I'm saying for deaf children, don't underestimate them. They think much, much more than what we think about. But these children may not have, have a standard vocabulary, but does not mean that they can't think, you know. So this is something is, you know, we have to talk to them about their feelings, thoughts and all. And unless they get that real life experience, how will they share all this? So this is very important. We have to acknowledge this, you know, uh, small accomplishment, doing a good homework, completing the homework in time, giving, you know, glass of water to uh, elderly or cleaning the table. Those little, little things matter. Acknowledge that. Every day we need that acknowledgement. Even we need that acknowledgement. Means if you finish off your job in time and your head says, wow, wonderfully done. Don't you feel good about it? The same way child also wants that recognition. So sense of responsibility, completing the task in time, that something is very important. And it's about talking about the environment, the friendly environment, neighborhood, school. It's over and over and over again. If you keep talking to them, you will understand. You means in the sense parents will understand what's happening around them. But if you only once in a week, you just ask school, me kya hua? Wo to, wo tumhara dost nahi dikhai diya bahut din se. does not give any information to us. And our children also have dreams. Remember that they may not express, but they do visualize it. So we have to give them that outlet for their dreams also. also. Respecting others, this is something or uh, helping, you know, to people, uh, encourage to help people in need. Something has to start from home. And this is when we are really losing this component at all. Uh, somewhere, and you know, you can't teach values and moral at the age of 12 and 15. It has to start from home at the age of three, five, six. It's just you know, the way, like we all say, uh, you know, bowing for the elderly, Babuji ko pranam karo, Masi ko pranam karo, and all those things matters. This is something giving due respect to elderly. Um, somebody comes home and giving glass of water is important. It's our culture. And that's how we learn a lot from that. And this is something has to start from school or at home. So what is doable, not doable <coughs> as such, but patience and letting others go first. 
See, we have no tolerance and this is something gets reflected because we, you know, just visualize yourself, you are at the vegetable vendor or when grocery shop, what happens? You push yourself forward saying, I'm in a hurry. But somebody, two more people are standing in front of you and you are not allowing to let them do that. How did this all happen? Because you have lost the patience and you are becoming a role model to your children. This is the way you need to push forward. No, that's wrong. We have to tell them that patience is important. Let others go first. You know, you, you see the English movies and one thing you will say, somebody opens the door for you, whether it is in a restaurant, in a bank, in a store, anywhere. And you see Indian movie, we never open door for anyone. We push ourselves and ask others, wait, hum rahe hai. You know, this is so wrong. This is somewhere our values are shifting. We have to revisit all these words, yeah. And finishing the activity, then changing the task, going to the next one. This you know, gives the orderly feeling as such, like controlling yourself, uh, gratifying this, the you know, pleasures a little more as such. This is something is, you know, that's how children will learn the consequences of before acting. And again and again, I'm saying value teaching starts from home. You just can't, uh, you know, do it later on as a, now, book reading has been sort of has introduced in at least I know about in deaf education as such people have started, but not as a very good routine practice as such, but we introduce this reading, um, um, reading books to your children, practice with parents, tell them how to read. <coughs> you know, you say, Aap roze ek kitab padho, ek page panna padho and all that. Show it, demonstrate it, you know, how to do it. Because then what message are you giving? How you are explaining or discussing the picture? <coughs> I'm very sorry, but last one week I was unwell and I'm really having... Yeah, really I know. Do you want to take me. a break for a minute oh. or two? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. There's just the dryness of mouth. Yeah, mouth. maybe you could have hot water. Yeah, it's kind of kept it here. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, so it's again, uh, you know, acknowledgement of uh, whatever things children do is also important. Praise is something and giving in a positive way. You know, you, you just can't keep generalized statement. Oh, you can't do it. You are the same person. You just, it's so difficult for you. It's your intention. Man hota hai to karoge nahi to kuch no. Don't make these negative comments. See the world differently. Support your child for taking new challenges because that's how something, you know, the positivity comes within. Unless we work on it indifferently, you know, come out of this shell and on a straddle do's and don'ts. No, we need, we need to see the world differently. We need to see ourselves differently. The disagreements are there, how to resolve, how to discuss, how to talk. We have to, and again, I'm saying, you know, for parents, we need to do this preaching to them. If there is no, you know, qualification required to become a parent. Parent ban jate hai. So they don't know what to do with it, their role. So these women or father or grandparents or uh, significant others think in on their own way. So shaping of behavior of those people is also important. It's not only the child. We take parents for granted. Unko malum hona chahiye. No, not that way. We need to teach them what is next as such. And our, you know, all favorite time is talking about teens. Yes, they are changing. They are changing. They're seeing the world differently. They see the moods and all those things. And uh, even our children will also have entered into teens. So they will have their own thing as such. So, but what happens that irritability level or tolerance level goes, uh, irritability level goes up and tolerance level goes down because they are not really taught to be tolerant. They are not to be, you know, taught to be patient as such. And that's what we find it uh, difficult to handle. Our parents often complained about all those uh, teenagers all the time. And this is very natural that children uh, express less affection towards their parents. 
I feel, you know, you just do reflection to yourself and think about how did you react to your parents or mother when you were 16. I argued with my mother. I had long fights with my mother. So naturally, this is a transition. This is going to happen. So sometimes it's short tempered, rude and all other things, feeling sadness, depression. But all these things need to be discussed, talked, because you just keep it as, as they are then the angularities come. But if you help the families to shape up this behavior, the healthy personality will groom out of that. And this is something you know we have to think about. We have to create healthy personalities. We have to be instrumental to become these you know, responsible people in India, for India. And mobile games, this addiction, drug addiction are around the corner. Please don't think that um, children with special needs are away from all other things. They are there. Probably two years from now, we will have another workshop on these areas as such. It's scary, but it's happening. You know How to handle this? Of course, I have no answer for that. But it's not only for children across the state. It's with our children also, this is happening. So again, I'm coming back to the same thing, you know, honesty, respect, responsibility, compassion, patience, all needs to be discussed and talked. And I request all of you just to take one one unit and work with parents, you know, how are we going to take activities or how we are going to develop the stories for honesty or respect or responsibility or the other action plan we can have about it for five-year-old, 10-year-old, 15-year-old, a lot of things can be done. So language units can be done, you know, that way. So think about all those possibilities <coughs> because that's how you are becoming, you know, shaping these children with a healthy personality. Now for parents also, we have to give a message to them. The mutual respect with your ch child is important. Use respective full language, respect his or her feeling. Respect his or her opinion, privacy also. You know, Hamesha Kone may but have our children or many families don't have independent rooms as such. So naturally, somebody will just take a favorite corner and will be sitting there. That's a privacy zone for that child. And if he's sitting there all the time, there <coughs> need to think about it. Why? What is it? Something is he hiding something or is he just a loner or what is he finding it difficult as such? And we have to think about, you know, the individuality also. No two children are alike. That's what we keep talking about it. But when it comes to, you know, practice, then we have to think about why he is different or he she is different. That is something need to be explained and discussed with the family. We know a lot about, you know, discipline as such effective way, how to go about it. It should be structured, consistent, predictable, fair. <clears throat> so basically, you know, don't, uh, punishments is something like we all have a lot of lectures in our academic program, reward and punishment and all. But this is something a soft negative punishments really make it more effective. Means <coughs> eating a child, giving spanking is no, no, anytime. Just I always tell parents, you know, no matter how angry you are, just walk away from that situation. Don't raise your hand. That's just count in and just move away from that. And that becomes much easier because you yourself can't control the feeling. And is that something who wins, child or you? That's a whole story about it. So moving away from that situation makes it easy. If child can't be moved out from that situation, you move away and see what happens. It's, you know, in adult inter interpersonal relationship, if somebody ignores us, it hurts. That's a common thing, you know. If somebody does not give eye contact to you and just uh, be there all the time, it hurts. Why can't you do the same thing with your child? Just try it out, ignore the child, and then what happens? Child will keep coming to you after some time. Is the patient's this? So we have to think about, you know, how our uh, discipline or uh, strategies will be. Again, this can be a discussion point and which, uh, you know, we can talk a lot about it. Now, good, this all fear, visual signs are coming, good choice, bad choice and all other things. But 
parents have that you know that all children should be thoughtful compassionate and well behaved individual but how will they be it unless we invest time energy talk to them as such they are not you know born with the knowledge or manners and acceptable behavior and what is acceptable you know that is one thing is uh, always very strange in one of the earlier series series tv series there was one message which really made one impact on me as such you know this was about the cross cultural marriages so anyway so you know the person said ki maharashtra mein aap bhagwan ko prasad choti si kote tokri mein dete ho इतना सा प्रसाद भगवान को होता है क्या हमारे यहाँ भोग चढ़ाया जाता है नाउ हु इज राइट ही एंड आई रियली फेल्ड यस दैट्स ट्रू महाराष्ट्र सीज इट डिफरेंटली पूजा वर्सेस नॉर्थ इंडिया सीज इट डिफरेंटली सो व्हाट इज एक्सेप्टेबल सो वी हैव टू थिंक अबाउट यू नो दैट व्हाट इज एक्सेप्टेबल इन अवर कॉन्टेक्स एंड हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इट टू देम दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो शेपिंग ऑफ बिहेवियर इन अवर कॉन्टेक्स social context and of course certain family values context is very important and again now coming to the psychology lectures skinner's you know the theory about reinforcement positive and negative reinforcement how it should be we have read lot studied lot all about it as such but it always has to be think about <coughs> more for positive reinforcement giving praise uh, <coughs> Sorry. and negative reinforcement at the lesser level and that's how you will strike the balance more you uh, praise the child not for praising every now and then and not you know tangible reinforcements are required but a smile um, just thumbs up sign or uh, making a star on this if this is really good no tangible things like giving chocolates and all i have seen children control you fir abhi mujhe ek ice cream milega na fir abhi chocolate milega na no 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 so that's again we have to talk to children about to the families explaining them what is reinforcement so this is something is very important now we you know in language stimulation program this all we have you know all activities how to wash hand what kind of language we give what what kind of uh, vocabulary you use about it hey, indirectly we are talking about modeling behavior but this is all about the activities you know brushing and uh, taking a shower or washing hand or setting the table and all but same way can we teach your child how to calm down when you are upset or frustrated how are you going to do the activities to calm down how to just to sit still how to do little taking of a deep breath and all why can't give the you know demonstrate those modeling behavior in this and the other thing is how to express the child you know you are upset i can see you do you want to cry yeah you go ahead yes you yes, you will feel better or you want to shout let's shout you know so expressing the behave emotions or or counting 10 and all means also modeling and we don't spend time with that you know we sometimes these abstract things are difficult to explain so we also have our own limitations but i think as you know group activity and all other thing we can do lot more to all those children to make them healthy personalities again i'm coming over and over again positive and healthy personality development should be our sort of you know role here so modeling we, you know we are all these lesson plans you must have in all other thing probably one lesson plan can be done for you know how to calm down or how to relax or how to just express the emotions things like that can be done so in short what is spend quality time with the children be approachable to your child ask questions and communicate and communicate and communicate that is something is very important now this is all par what parents should be doing all the time but there is message for parents also all the parents and especially mothers are like you know finding it very difficult to play all these multiple roles as such but we have to tell them you know 
that it's a kind of organized behavior. It's organization. Home itself is also an organization. There is interpersonal relationship, decision making, planning, and hierarchical decisions. Many things are there. So, you know, you want to not feel overwhelmed about it. I need to do everything. Whatever you can do, take one at a time. Certain things you may not be able to do it. It's perfectly okay. Then, of course, we all in Indian context, Indian families are pressurized with, you know, senior people advice, extended family members advice, unwanted people advice, and all other things. But we walk through that. We learn to it, you know. We say, yes, I'll keep in mind, but I'll do what I want to do it as just, you know, because what is best to your child and your family matters more. So don't get a feeling of in and out whom to follow, kis kisu no, and all other things. And you can discuss these issues with anyone, but ultimately parents, mother, or the family unit, both the parents as such, whosoever is taking a decision, good for your children. That is important. We, the facilitators, will not take any decision. I don't like the statement people say. Why we are jumping? Hello. Am I short of time? I'm crossing the limit? No, there is still time. Oh. <coughs> yeah. This is only time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. I think by, by 11, 10, uh, yeah, 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 take yeah. the questions. Sure, so. sure, 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 sure. So this is something, you know, and at the same time, when mothers are doing that the best job, she also, you know, expect, expects the reward all the time, <coughs> the getting approval from all that which is natural, which is very good. You know, you are the best cook, you are the best organizer and all other things. But parenting is not a popularity contest. You know, this is something is we have to really think about it. <clears throat> go slow, go with your pace, go what is best you can do is all that. And what is appropriate for your family structure matters a lot. Now, <clears throat> your children are not the puppet. Remember, and you are not a puppet here. So don't try to control them all the time. You just can't control children all the time. Children also give surprises. You expect certain behavior and they do something differently, especially when you are outside your home. Natural. That's <clears throat> whatever things happen. It's okay. Let it go. Nobody is going to insult you. Though you don't you don't have to feel embarrassed for that time. Just learn to laugh at it also, because children have free will and will act in their according way with their self interest. So even as a parents, we have to increase our tolerance level. And remember, nobody is going to be a superwoman or super person as such. This is not something the best I want to be. I want to give best to my child. I want to protect my child this way. I want to. Uh, make sure he, nobody will do any harm to him. Don't, don't vouch on all those things, you know. So certain minor things may just go here and there as such. It's a learning curve. That, <coughs> that is something you have to think about it. If your child does not get angry with you at least once, then you're not doing a good job. The conflict should be there. Otherwise, there is no fun for it, you know. But at the same time, you don't have to give explanation. Please don't. It's even in workplace and all other things, I always say, instead of giving any explanation, A, you keep quiet or just say sorry. Let the time take care of it. But and then somebody came and then phone rang and all. We keep giving excuses and excuses and excuses. In somewhere, we just not admitting the fact that, yes, things have gone wrong. No, it's suppose something means I always said that in my house or my children. If it's something you drop down, it fell off, it cracks, it gets thrown, it, you spill over, you can't do anything for that. So at that moment, just keep quiet because that moment is over. You can't get back to it. So <clears throat> what is the point discussing about who is right and who is wrong? Why do we want to get give the explanation? Just keep quiet. Five minutes later, everybody will come to senses and realize, kya ho gaya? Accident kaise ho gaya? What went wrong and where? And that becomes much easier. <coughs> and taking the responsibility, yes, I dropped it. 
I just never realized what I'm doing it. I thought it was too, too light and it turned out to be heavy. I couldn't pick up the dabba and just it fell off. You know, a whole lot of things are there. <coughs> so this is something, you know, take the responsibility. And if you do that, it will reflect on the children also and children will take the responsibility. And we will teach the children to be accountable of whatever things are there happening. So <clears throat> to scope when someone is teasing them, a tolerance should come. If somebody is teasing you, it's all right. It's having fun. We will keep quiet. We'll think about it, what's happening. And more and more advanced skills as then come and the child becomes more positive personality, he, he will learn to take the negative comments also. So, you know, the all, for all things, don't take blame on yourself and don't blame the child also. The, just the set the limit for the child and to yourself as what is <coughs> best is, you know, for that child. Best thing is what, parenting is a balancing act. And I'm saying it over and over again as such, if we make, make these children strong within, <coughs> they will be prepared to face the outer world more effectively. We are not going to make them timid, um, fearful children as such. Of course, the stressors are there, dangers are there, but then to teach the coping strategy will be much easier for these children. So sometimes it's a circus. There are so many balancing acts are there, but that's okay. There's nothing like a perfect parent. There is nothing like to be the right decision. It's a relative decision as such. So your child, your family is unique and you know the best, but most ideally what one can do <coughs> should be thought over than anything else. And I want to give a strong message to parents all the time. If, if not me, who will do this for my child? And if it is not now, then when? This is something is very important. So <clears throat> the first opening thought, I thought about, you know, opening the stage about developing the positivity and how to go about it with a very strong attitude will change this world. And probably the world will be a better place to live. And that's how we want to aim at it. We start working from now, probably five years or 10 years now, we will see the change. Thank you so much. Excuse me, very sorry. Uh, now I request Ms. Sheetal uh, Dillon to take over. If at all our participants have any questions. Participants, this is request. And if you have any questions, please post it in the uh, chat box. Tumala Sarana Vinantia Hek is a Tumalakai Prashna still that you take a chat box. Made Takaway. Ms. Dillon will take over this session now of question answer. So, so far there has been no question I guess in chat box. So if somebody wants to uh, put it now, please do that. And also an announcement that the feedback link is there in the chat box. I'm sure you all must have uh, clicked on the attendance list, uh, attendance link. It will be shared once again. Any doubts, any um, comments, questions? You can raise your hand in case if you don't want to put it in the chat box. And we will unmute you. I'm audible, right? You all can hear me. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, okay. So is there any question, any comments, anything you want to share? Need not be a question, anything that your reflection, maybe your take home point. Uh, Sheetal, there are no questions in chat box, right? Yes, ma'am. There's no, there's no, there are no questions in the chat box. Okay. And uh, you will be posting the PowerPoint in the chat box and in WhatsApp group, right? Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah, you can do that now. Okay. okay. 
Yeah, I guess then uh, we stop at this point. Okay, Nutan uh, has a question. Yeah, madam, I had a question to ask. Can you hear me? Yes. See, yes. Uh, when we start working, we uh, yeah, like definitely we are in this field and we are so for social awareness. But when we start working and we communicate with these uh, politicians or the social workers, they always try to emphasize that you all start working with me, you know, being in a party and all those things. So how do we get in these things? Because, uh, you know, we come across in these things also. You start working in, uh, uh, you know, uh, with us, then we can support you. So these things. There are, there are two things. When you ask for the support, they often think about monetary support or giving a platform as such and for that platform that banner or projection is something is uh, the display and nowadays for all uh, these politicians what has happened that we care for society we care for marginalized people and that sort of they want to project so they have to use these activities as such so there is a you know Nutan, you can mute yourself because there's some background noise there Thanks. So there is a conflict always about it. It we need to decide, you know, how far you want to make a handshake with them. Uh, if you want to sort of stay away from it, or that's perfectly okay. Because it's very important to say no from our side also, you know. It's just a little out of context. One uh, example I'm giving, yeah, just two days ago, I got a phone call from I, I don't know the person. He said we have identified 4,500 um, these special need individuals and we are giving aids and appliances and all. So you want to do the marketing. I said, what for? I'm not part of your project. So he said, no, you can promote your product. So I said, then in that case, you want money for me. So, but you are doing the charity, and then what should I be doing there? I have nothing. He said, no, no, you can the image. Bada sakte ho. He said, I'm not interested. So the person really felt offended for that. But this is something, you know, we, to say no also is very important because these political or social activists also should not take us for ride. You know, they, they should not take undue advantage of our services because we are professionals. We want to uh, give the service of creating an awareness at the grassroots level. So our attempts are small. And to make a generalized scenario will take long time. So it's going to be pockets only. But whatever the you know, 10, 12 pockets are there, at least that connection gets developed and networking over the time, then we will become strong. So personally, I always felt, you know, stay away from all these uh, publicity stunt as such. But it's an individual call, you know. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, Hello. Uh, can I speak in Marathi, madam? Oh, bola, bola. Uh, madam, uh, uh, hearing impaired student, jo hota hai, unko, yana, hearing aid, jo Marathode me jada tar, ja mula na milat na itar te, aple kada, punela, manke hearing service se ita uplab da hota tar service se. Hey, baga, ek tarha khub begra prashna ya siyari shi sammandit na hi hai. Yeah. Ek tarha gdi mahatwa sa baga hai. Dusra maza vyausai hi vegri goshta hai. And maza hiyata sa kaam vegra hai. Kya mule apan swatantra pane bolu. Pan dusra marathwa da to uplab da hot ne ya chaur maza vishwas ne. Kand mala mahi tiye kai kaam chalu hai te. To tumye swatantra pane maal jashi sampar ka sadhan me boli in tum jashi. इकडे फक्त मुलांची सुरक्षितता या विषयावर जे मॅडम ने प्रेझेंटेशन केलं त्याविषयी तुम्हाला जर काही सांगायचं असेल विचारायचं असेल तर गो अहेड अदरवाइज हा प्लॅटफॉर्म इतर डिस्कशन साठी प्लीज वापरू नका ओके ओके एनीथिंग एल्स एनीबडी वांट्स टू शेअर और आस्क so I guess uh, we can wind up this session then um, in the chat.